Melanie Tudbull, can you come down to the front and ask your question, please? Alan Jones will translate members. My angen in plant cal sicroi the neighbor would die, Velagash and Fanny Ashloido and Oriskol. Ganadu Cabanai are a yard you ratteb and a skull young godlow number in Norvine, and all can horrid Moby, a dos dimche and Oriskol pante, get a dim on misoi the wind, can a garvan newith, dospath derbin, or tia hue dig or plant and carry the no. A fi the cynghorydd Moby, a mantisio ar y cyfle hwn, a ddweud wrth drieni a gofalwyr sy'n poeni am brodyr a chwiorydd yn cael ei gwahanu ar safle oedd gwahanol, beth yn union y mae'n bwriadu ei wneud i osgoi'r broblem hon, gall ein blant ni ddim aros mwyach. This is a translation of Mrs. Tudbull's question. Our children need certainty in their lives so they can thrive and succeed in this school environment. As demountables on the yard are not the solution for overcrowding school, overcrowded schools in Torvine, according to Councillor Moby. And there, is, and there being no room at Escopante with only months to go before the new reception class cohort of about 60 children are destined to arrive there. Will Councillor Moby take this opportunity now and tell worried parents and carers that don't want siblings split up on different sites what exactly he tends to do to alleviate this problem? Our children can't wait any longer. Councillor Moby, uh, exactly, Member for uh, Children and Young People, would you like to comment on that? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you for your question. Aliki Sharad and Saiz Negna, Raskwelekanda. Uh, you may recall that I have previously given a commitment to share the arrangements to be made for Askel Panteg with the school, its governing body and parents and carers, early in 2014.